Alright, I have finished up my last new adult to be read list and am more than ready for a new one. So what do you guys think of this as a potential list? Thoughtless by S.C. Stevens. This is by far the most read new adult book left on my Goodreads list. This book was published about five and a half years ago and it's about this couple who moves off to a new city together. But then they split, I think, and she starts up a friendship with a local rock star. Some of my Goodreads friends are just really annoyed at the love triangle, but others are like, this is really addicting. And since so many people have read it, it will be interesting to see where I fall in the Great Divide. Bully by by Penelope Douglas. This has a very distinctively designed cover, so it's been niggling at me to read it for the longest time. This is about two childhood neighbors who were friends until they were teens, and then he decided to start being really horrible to her. She leaves, she actually escapes by studying abroad, and the story picks up when she returns. Some of my Goodreads friends could not get over how horrible Jared is to her at the beginning of the book, so that made the rest of the book a no-go for them and others are just like, oh my god, I haven't finished a book so fast in like forever. So no matter what, it kind of sounds entertaining. Sweet Home by Tilly Cole. This is about a British girl who ends up going to the University of Alabama and just being flabbergasted by the heat and how much everybody really loves football. And then she meets the star quarterback. My Goodreads friend Brianna loves this book so much she wished Goodreads allowed emojis so she could probably properly express her emotions. But others of my friends were like, eh, good book in the beginning, and then they thought it kind of went downhill. I think the Brit in Alabama premise is interesting enough that I'm kind of excited to give this a try. Lost and Found by Nicole Williams. I thought I would mix things up by trying some western new adult. Rowan is shipped off to work at a ranch in Montana for a summer where she, guess what, meets a cowboy. Some say it's predictable and cliche, but others say they fell madly in love with this book. I say this provides variety to my TBR list so it may stay. I have read several Mia Sheridan books which I have liked, so I want to read more even though I cannot get them from my library. It is still worth it. Anyway, I think the next one I'll read is Stinger. From what I can tell, she's a lawyer. He's in the adult entertainment business, which I cannot say I've read a romance novel where the hero is in porn, so this should be interesting. And somewhere I think the military comes in. Maybe he leaves porn for the military? Maybe she leaves law for the military? I do not know. But this seems like a unique enough storyline to give some variety to this TBR list. All right, so one of my favorite new adult series is the Dublin Street series by Samantha Young, which she just wrapped after six books, and I am very sad. She has a second series, though, which is called Into the Deep, and I'm hopeful this will help fill the void. Jake and Charlie were inseparable and then he just leaves and abandons her. Fast forward four years later and she's over in Ireland. Everything seems to happen in Ireland for Samantha Young. Anyway, she bumps into Jake at a party with his new girlfriend and he's all contrite and apologetic and they decide to try to be friends. Some of my Goodreads friends just think Jake was an a-hole and didn't deserve to be forgiven, but others seem to really like it and I am a big fan of Samantha Young, so I am really kind of excited for this one. Okay, so what author do you love that you really wish would start a new series? And what else am I missing on this TBR list? And what should I start with reading first? 